For many American families, the holidays begin when they set up the Christmas tree. But for some, this holiday tradition comes with safety hazards that people often overlook from festive candles to strings of lights. Holiday decorating carries fire risks and other safety concerns. Joining us today is John Dringenberg, Director of Consumer Safety at UL with tips on safeguarding your home and keeping your families safe this holiday season. So a very important topic. Now we want to start out with the Christmas tree. It's often the center point of most homes during the holidays. Now how are Christmas trees a potential hazard and how can we keep our families safe, John? Well, Christmas trees are a big part. Millions of uh, trees are sold every year and the safety starts in the tree lot. Take the tree that you're looking for and want to bring home and run your hand along the branches. If you end up with a handful of needles, that means the tree is already too dry and should never be brought into your home. Once you get a fresh tree, make sure that the people cut an inch or two off the base. That helps give the tree a nice new cut and it'll help it absorb water, which is very important. And that's the other thing you should do is check that tree every day. And some trees absorb a lot of water and a watered tree is a safer tree. So make sure you keep that tree well watered and also try to locate it away from heat sources like radiators and registers and fireplaces. That tends to dry the tree out even faster. But remember, trees will last only a maximum of four weeks no matter how well you keep them watered. So if your tree's been in your home longer than four weeks, it's probably time to take that tree outside. Good advice, John. Now I know we never had a real tree growing up, so my question to you is what about pre-lit artificial Christmas trees? Do they have fire risks you know, with them? Oh, any tree you bring in, whether it's artificial or real, is considered fuel by us engineers. And the fact is an artificial tree will burn if it gets started. The reality is UL has set up requirements for artificial pre-lit trees. So if you're shopping for a new artificial pre-lit tree, look for that UL mark. It's uh, on some artificial pre-lit trees these days. The other thing to remember with trees is always make sure that uh, you decorate it only down to the level where a toddler can't reach the glass ornaments. This is something that many people forget because toddlers just love the ornaments and you can't watch them all the time. So decorate to the level where they won't hurt themselves on ornaments. Use the paper ornaments or the uh, fabric ornaments uh, at the lower levels. <laughs> Thanks, John. I have a toddler at home, so I think we're going to just put a small Christmas tree on a table this year. All right, what about holiday lights? What safety tips should family keep in mind for indoor and outdoor lights? You know, 15,000 people make hospital emergency room visits every year because of decorations. They have accidents of all kinds, so you have to be careful and take a few seconds to think about safety at this busy time of the year. When you bring your decorations out of storage, take a look at them, inspect them. If you see frayed wires or cracked sockets, any of those things should tell you to throw the decoration away immediately. If you see these things, it's not worth trying to fix. Buy new UL certified decorations. They're cheap enough. It's good insurance for you and your family. Also, if you're decorating outdoors, make sure you look to make sure that the, the UL mark is red in color. The red UL in a circle means that it's an outdoor decoration and has been given lots of tests for rain and cold weather, so it's an outdoor decoration. If it's got a green UL in a circle, that means it's an indoor decoration and should never be brought outdoors. So make sure you know which one you're going to use and where you're going to use your decorations when you set them up. The other thing to remember is if you're decorating outdoors, don't use metal nails or staples to hold the decorations to your house. You can pierce the wire, you can have a shock hazard with staples that, that get into the copper wire inside the insulation. That could be a bad shock hazard or even a fire hazard. The best thing you can do is look at one of the many, many different types of plastic hooks that are available at hardware stores and home centers. These hooks are very convenient to use and they're easier to use when you are ready to take those decorations down. So look for the plastic hooks rather than the metal nails or staples. Thanks, John. Now we can all stay safe this holiday season and happy holidays to you. Happy holidays to you and look at UL.com if you want any safety information for the holidays or year round. Thanks so much, John, and much more Low Country Live coming up after the break.